cheese, you know? Ooh, what about Grimace? Huh? Always wanted to eat that guy. Shaped like a chicken nugget. My favorite food and favorite color, huh? Oink, oink. Shut up! Jesus Christ, as soon as I take over his body, I'm gonna hate you. Enough! So then, when I was eight, I threw a birthday party for myself on behalf of my dad. Why do you keep following me? He wasn't there, but... Oh, Magnus. Oh, thank God. What's wrong? Cheer up. Try looking at the glass half full instead of half empty. What glass? Um, that's a turn of phrase. Like, be optimistic? This glass? I... I have to test it. It's just a question. Like how you view the world, sailor? No. I have to test this scientifically. Incoming message. Ah! 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 I thought I saw a spider. That's the microphone. Oh. It has a windscreen. Oh, it was scary, Quark. Jesus, you just made Dr. Magnus break oh, all that glass. That's not important. All right. Gather around, boys. It's mission time. That's not important right now. Is he taking? Boys, we have an important mission. I promise to make America perfect again. And Quark here found a distant alien planet that has achieved utopia, the perfect civilization. We need you to go there, investigate, figure out how they did it so that we can replicate it here. And I had all the red hats made with the slogan on it, so don't make the hats look stupid, boys. Now approaching Plutopian Atmosphere. Whoa, so this is what world peace looks like. I feel as if we've lost a dimension. I don't care how you both feel. This is a serious mission and I'm very animated to complete it. Greetings, travelers. Welcome to Plutopia. We know you'll enjoy your time here. Greetings. We come from Earth. Yes, your president radioed ahead to let us know. Oh yeah? Well, we want to know how you achieved Utopia, and you're going to show us. Yes, he mentioned that as well. Would you like to begin the tour? That's more like it. Here is one of our many never-ending food supply lines. CC Pizza Cafe. As you can see, no one will ever go hungry on Plutopia. There's no violence, war, or acts of douchebaggery on Plutopia. Wow, that's a long time. Actually, that's in Utopian days. In Earth time, that's 2,739,726 years without violence. Wait for it. Yes, no pollution or litter on Plutopia. Truly, you have an ideal world here, but you haven't explained how. Ah, uh, perfect timing. Let me show you. This is my favorite part. Ah! 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 Ah!
do? Where am I? Oh my god. Yes. We're very grateful for the Plunicorn and its lifeblood elixir. When released into the air, the lifeblood elixir generates all the wonderful utopia fixtures you witnessed earlier. We have to drain the exact amount of lifeblood constantly to get enough elixir while also keeping it alive. Please kill me! We keep it alive artificially. It was supposed to die thousands of years ago, but through Utopia, we've made great medical strides in keeping it alive forever. Which is a crime against nature. Please, end my life. Such is the price of Utopia. <laughs> well, would you all prefer to stay here, or see the rest of Plutopia? Let's rest go, Plutopia. I want to go, let's go. I'm gonna stay here. You owe me some science. <laughs> Barry, you gotta try this! Please, pull that plug over there so I can finally die and ascend to Valhalla to live out my days eternally with the rest of my Viking Plunicorn brethren. I don't have time for your moral quandaries. I'm trying to scientifically decipher whether this glass of water is half empty or half full. It's not a scientific question, Poindexter. It's a matter of perspective. Much like that glass, I am both half empty and half full of blood. And, like the glass of water, I deserve to be drained and put into a dishwasher so I can die in the scent of a hala. Astute point, Plunicorn. I disagree, however. There's a scientific explanation to all this, and I can prove it. Take this hypothesis, for example. If the Plutocorn, represented by this glass of water, truly is half empty, then it deserves to be drained and for Utopia to end. But if it is half full, then its quality of life can arguably be said to be good, and therefore it deserves to prevail. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? I can test this scientifically. What the fuck? I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> Contemplating murder now, huh? You're not crazy, are you? Oi, seems like a lot of work. Don't they have a never-ending pizza buffet? I'm not crazy! I can do this! There's... There's an answer to this! Who are you talking to? <sighs> the only person who can help me, and he's crazy. God. Just kill me. Literally. There's a plug. Right. There. Hey, maybe you'll fuck this experiment up just like the one that awakened me. Maybe let's take a break and go check out the rest of Plutopia, huh? Alligator! Unicorn! Pig! Shut up! I can do this! Listen, this isn't a scientific question. This isn't about you as a scientist. This is about me. You can't decide quantifiably when it's the right time to die. There is no right answer. But I'm telling you that my existence is pain, and I want to die and ascend to Valhalla. I want to be with my family. Aww, isn't that cute? But I'm sure you'll find a way to fuck this up. That last experiment was a fluke! I'm feeling half empty, snort. Can we go get some gelato? I said be quiet! 
Hear my words. End my life. I think you forgot to carry the two there. Don't misplace that variable. Yummy, yummy pizza. Stop. Holy mother. Stop. Ooh, I want to eat it. Please kill me. Enough. Enough. Oh no. Not again. Magnus, you're still here? You missed a carnival. <laughs> well, <laughs> carnival. There's a carnival every day. <laughs> you got a bear. <laughs> we have to go. Now! That's a downer. Dr. Magnus, you're supposed to be the responsible one. And your work destroyed an entire civilization. You'll have to live with that. Did you at least learn anything? I can ride a roller coaster 18 times in a row. They begged me to stop. I also barfed 18 times in a row. They begged me to stop. I set a new Plutopia record. Utopia can only be achieved through the suffering of others. Sir! Glasses should only be completely full or empty. Great point. Never leave a job half done. Great job, boys. <laughs>